implication of November 2024, around two weeks back or 10 days back, election happened in United States. What are its implications? Because this is considered as the most historic election in United States. People in United States, they elected Mr. Donald Trump while they had rejected mere four years back when he was sitting president. When they elected Mr. Donald Trump, Miss Mr. Donald Trump has promised them what exactly they are looking for and it was going something out of the track in America. America first, American first. Miss all money that is collected in America should be, should be settled down, should be given to the American people. All the companies in America, they should give salary job to the American first, then only investing outside. Now, as far as after effect and implication is concerned, then what about considering the situation of United States and India? India is a country where foreign direct investment of America is very, very, very high. 2022, 2022, two years back, the data shows that FDI foreign direct investment in India from American companies are more than 50 billion dollars. It is very, very, very huge amount, 50 billion dollars. American companies, American government, as far as American government is concerned, it does not spend money in India. The way it supports Pakistan, Israel, Ukraine, like that, it does not support India. But American companies, they have invested in India heavily especially in sector of electronics where selling the electronic goods is concerned okay not like china or south korea where manufacturing of electronic goods those companies have invested american companies they are selling their electronic products in india whereas they have invested invested directly in terms of software companies so indian manpower is used or engineering power is being used as far as software companies are concerned. America, the maximum, the maximum investment of American company outside America is India as far as software companies are concerned. I think it is followed by Brazil. Brazil. So this is very, very, very high. American companies typically they invest in two sectors. One is in the manpower engineering sector, other is in educational institutes like Taiwan or Singapore, Hong Kong, South Korea, where American institutions they invest directly, like Philippines. But in India, their institutions are not here, though they have they have taken the permission. Now it is legal that American institutions like Harvard or Stanford, they can open university directly in India but they have don't have means they don't have any kind of practical presence here but indian institution they are teaching in that fashion only in that direction only so people who are coming out out of the college they directly start working in their company so american company they have full investment as far as software software business is concerned 50 billion dollar more than that so this is like very tight coupling in india if i if we see india then foreign foreign investment in india america is third most largest followed by singapore and singapore and singapore singapore and mauritius what is singapore and mauritius people know that so the biggest investor in india is american company american economy is completely control indian economy is right now it is completely in control of american company completely and that's why 10 gram gold is 75000 rupees one liter petrol is 100 rupees because of this dollar is in effect in india now what is what will happen to india that is the question mark it is happening now the India, the company's share prices are falling post the US election. Continuously it is falling. The share prices of the companies, understand what companies, companies in India gradually, repeatedly 
they are not gaining even a single day for past 12 13 days share prices are falling day by day because people they do not know what is the future where this company would go people are fearing and they are selling the shares so it is falling down we have taken this topic because shares are falling down day by day continuously and this is leading to much of anxiousness in the people of india who are directly connected to the american companies business if that is the situation when the indian economy is coming on track this is what i would say this dollar shadow should go away and indian economy should be in rupee so that the prices should fall down now if that is the case certainly it is unwanted for the prime minister like narendra modi where is modi now that is the question where is modi now anyone knows it now modi is in modi is in brazil he went to nigeria now he is in brazil and post brazil he would be in guyana guyana is in i believe it is in caribbean caribbean uh, caribbean islands the caribbean countries that is near to north america only miss mr modi is there miss unfortunately he is not being invited to usa otherwise he would be in usa or he is prompt, prompting or knocking the door that please invite me or you come to india because things are falling now we have taken topic now post 12 13 days the implication of us election in india because we waited the result and it's happening unfortunately fortunately fortunate for the country and unfortunate people who are directly connected to the this business okay i believe that india should be powerful and america if it concentrate on local people then certainly it will be powerful